In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can install macOS Monterey on a 2012 MacBook Pro Retina. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Tech That Doesn't Bite. Do you have an old 2012 MacBook Pro 15 inch Retina? Well, if you wanna install macOS Monterey on it, you actually can. There's just a small workaround that you need to use in order to be able to do that. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. But before we continue on with the tutorial, please make sure to back up your data before you start, just in case something weird happens during this process. So here are the basic requirements that you're going to need. You're gonna need a Mac computer in order to download the macOS Monterey installer. You're also gonna need a USB flash drive that is at least 16 gigabyte of storage. The higher it be better. You also need to know the Mac model identifier and you can find that by going into your system profiler, just like this. And you're gonna need the Open Core Legacy Patcher. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the Open Core Legacy Patcher website where you're gonna find the download link. Basically, their download link is gonna be in their GitHub page. And you just click on GitHub and you're gonna be directed to their GitHub page. And you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna see the latest version is 0.4.3. Now, there's two types of patchers that you can download one with the GUI interface, and the other one is just a TUI interface. And there's also an offline version or the one that requires the internet version. Now looking at the Open Core Legacy Patcher's website, it says that root patching requires a network connection by default to grab associated resources. Now if your system's having difficulties with Wi-Fi or Ethernet, grab the offline variant of the patcher on GitHub. So it all depends on your machine. So just as play is safe, I downloaded the offline version of the GUI version of Open Core Patcher. And once you have downloaded, just go ahead, unzip it, and then open it up on your computer. So once you have launched the Open Core Legacy Patcher, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get the installer. And you can do that by clicking on the Create Mac OS Installer. And if you already have an existing installer, you can just click on that. But if you don't, let's say that you're on a unsupported Mac and you wanna download Monterey, just go ahead, click on Download Mac OS Installer, and it's gonna start pulling the installer catalog. Once the catalog has been opened, you'll be able to find all the installers. Now you could go back to even all the way to Big Sur and you could get the latest Monterey version as well, which is 12.3.1. You go ahead and click on that and it'll start downloading the installer and put it in your applications folder. I already have the installer, so we're gonna skip that step. So once you have the Monterey installer onto your computer, just go ahead, click on create Mac OS installer again. And this time use existing Mac OS installer and then install macOS Monterey. And make sure you have your USB flash drive plugged in. Go ahead and select the flash drive and it's gonna start formatting the drive and putting the installer to the USB drive. Once that has been finished setting up, just go back to return to the main menu. And this time, we're gonna make sure that we select the right model number for the Mac that we're trying to upgrade. And you can do that by clicking on settings, look for the exact model number that you want to build open core for. So in my case, my 2012 MacBook Pro 15 inch retina is MacBook Pro 10 comma one. So I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna go back to return to main menu. Now go ahead, click on build and install open core. So you can start building it. Just click on build open core. Once that's been built, you're gonna have to click on install open core. And you wanna install open core on the flash drive. So click on the flash drive and then on the EFI partition. And once you click on that, it's going to install the necessary files into the EFI partition of your flash drive. And it's gonna ask you for your password. And there you go. Files have been installed on the EFI drive. Basically, e Open Core has been installed on the EFI partition of your flash drive. So we just click on return to main menu. And now we're gonna plug this flash drive onto our unsupported Mac and we're gonna start installing Mac OS Monterey. So now we're ready to install Mac OS on our unsupported Retina MacBook Pro. Now all we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in the USB flash drive that already has the Open Core Legacy Patcher. It'll plug it in. I'm going to power on a MacBook Pro 
And this time we're gonna press the option key and we're gonna wait till we see our, our boot menu screen. And we're gonna select EFI boots. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit so everyone can see. I'm gonna select EFI boot. And I'm gonna quickly select install Mac OS Monterey. And we're gonna let it load until we get into the installer itself. And once it finished loading, we're gonna get these options right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to Dis Utility first. So I'm gonna click on Dis Utility. And I'm also gonna click on View and show all devices. And what we're gonna do is we're going to reformat our internal drive. So we'll click on that internal drive right there. Click on Erase. And at this point, you can rename it to anything that you like. I'm gonna leave it as Untitled, but what you wanna select is APFS. And also using the GUID partition map. And go ahead and click on Erase. And we're gonna let it format and click on Done. And once that's finished, you can close out the disk utility and click on Install Mac OS Monterey. And click Continue and click on Continue again. And click on Agree and select the drive that we just formatted and click on the drive and Continue. And now we're gonna let Mac OS Monterey be installed. Hey everyone, if you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell notification so you get notified of new videos. And feel free to leave your comments and questions about this procedure. I have a question for everyone. Would you like to see a video where I try to install Mac OS Monterey on a old 2009 MacBook Pro? Leave your comments below. So once we finish installing Mac OS Monterey, we're gonna set it up. And we're gonna create a user account. But first thing we're gonna go through this setup process. So let's do that. One thing you're gonna notice that it's a little bit slow when you're setting up. That's because you haven't done any patches yet. So just be patient in this process. All right, so here we are on the desktop. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go get back the Open Core Legacy Patcher. So we're gonna download the Open Core Patcher into this Mac. And this time we use the TUI version of the patcher. The reason why is because I actually had a problem patching this computer using the GUI version. So I'm gonna go to the TUI version. I'm just gonna download it. And I'm also gonna launch it now. So what you wanna do now is do the post install volume patch. So I'm gonna type in number three. And we're also gonna pick the number one option. We're gonna patch the system volume. And there you go, for this computer, it's gonna add the NVIDIA Kepler graphics patch and also the Intel Ivy Bridge graphics patch. So I'm also gonna type in Y to confirm and it's gonna start patching. And we're gonna to need to type in our password for the computer. So before we reboot the computer, what we wanna do is we want to install the open core directly into the EFI partition of this MacBook Pro. And first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna press number one to build open core. And we're gonna hit continue. So we build it and now we're gonna install it. And it's gonna look for the disk and you wanna make sure that you pick the internal drive of your MacBook Pro. In that case, I'm gonna select zero now it's gonna look for that efi partition of the internal drive so i'm gonna type in one and it should be designated as disk zero s1 might be a little bit different for you so definitely double check and then you're gonna get this little osa script so just go ahead type in your password and there you go open core has been transferred to that efi partition of the internal drive so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna quit And we're gonna restart the Mac. And I'm gonna reboot into that untitled drive. And there you go. Here is 
macOS Monterey on a MacBook Pro 2012 Retina. And we're gonna make sure everything looking good. And the screen resolution is much better now that we did our patching. And let's double check and confirm. There you go, macOS Monterey version 12.3.1 running on a Retina MacBook Pro 2012. So that's how you install macOS Monterey on an unsupported 2012 MacBook Pro Retina. Do you want to learn how to burn CDs on a Mac or a PC? Check out some of these tutorials at the end of this video. And I'll see you next time.